I'm going to say, Angel, this is the weekly love reading for the period of today, Sunday, the 19th of September through Saturday to come, the 25th. We're starting with the dice, massage, forget it, and party. Spirit says 29, spiritual partnership. Since this is the love reading, I have to say a romantic one. Massage still coming up. Could be tied to the um, Pisces uh, full moon that occurs tomorrow, the 20th, um, Monday, because Pisces rules like hands and feet, you know, so those type of things, like massage, maybe giving a massage or receiving one. And the last one says email. So it could be like um, reaching out to contact or maybe you receive a contact. We actually have the star showing up here. The star can be about communication, especially using some sort of technology like email, text, online dating, Skype, um, you know, FaceTime, all that kind of stuff represents the sign of Aquarius most directly. We're also starting with biblical. And the first thing I thought about was sex, honestly, um, or intimacy and to know someone in the biblical sense. Like um, in the Bible, it says, um, and you know, Adam, um, Adam's wife was Eve and he knew her and she bore him a son, you know. Uh, so that's where, from where that saying comes from in the biblical sense, he knew her or she knew him. Is like they were intimate, usually mean they, they um, had sex. And, you know, somebody could be maybe having sex for after like a long time, like you haven't. You feel kind of like a virgin, like the Virgo um, is represented by the virgin. And I don't know, I'm getting something about a virgin. Maybe you feel like a virgin, maybe you are a virgin. Uh, although I, I think most of the people that... Um, watch my videos are older than that, but I mean, it's possible. And, you know, sometimes we just, after we, it's just been so long. It's like, <laughs> I'm a virgin again. So it could be something like that, or maybe somebody that you never, you never were with before. Um, so in that sense, it's new. It's the first time something like that could be happening. And, or maybe you know this person from a past life in Atlantis. Um, if not, this is, this card has, it show, showed up in the general reading also. And, you know, it gave me the Piscean feeling right away when I picked it up and Neptune, you know, ruler of the sign of Pisces. I mean, there's always fish in it, dolphins. So I, I felt that was kind of like what it was showing up to represent. And it kind of does both, it, it, you know, like the, um, Pisces and the Virgo, cause there's a lot of green in it too, or at least that I'm picking up. So it's like the Virgo sun, the Pisces moon, but, um, it could definitely be tied to past life. I mean, these are my past life cards, um, honestly, and or the past in general. So this could be somebody that um, you will meet near the water or that you have met near the water in, in the present life that you know from somewhere, maybe like an island or, I mean, even Manhattan is an island, so it doesn't have to necessarily be tropical um, you know, maybe you met on the beach, you met while on vacation, something like that is coming up, maybe on a cruise. And of course, that's not going to apply to everybody, but that's just the messages that came out just now. Um, and the type of connections that you're making now are, you know, it's the kind that you've prayed for, wish for, hope for, plan for, set goals for, you know. Like hashtag relationship goals and all those sorts of things. And again, we have an Ace of Pentacles, which is all about a brand new start. The inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. But it could be something like a new home too with the Four of Wands um, upright. And also immediately behind it, it's time to kick back, relax and to celebrate all you have. Joy arises from success in your career the completion of a project or a very happy home life. This is about commitment also, um, you know, starting to date or maybe deciding to have sex or just having it without deciding very organically or becoming intimate in some other way, moving in together, getting engaged, getting married. All of these things um, could be tied to the four of wands. Remodeling your home, um, even if you're single, which may, may open up the energy for love and relationship um, that surrounds you, maybe um, moving or moving in with somebody. The Eight of Cups is also here, desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. This can also be, again, that new relationship. So you're finally deciding that you're ready to 
you know, try again, move on. And that's why it feels like a first time or something brand new because, you know, your other, your last relationship, now you're finally ready to close a chapter. And that's what like full moons do. Um, they bring endings, so it makes perfect sense. And speaking of endings, the next card is also upright and it's Major Arcana card 21, which is all about endings. Congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do, right? You're finished with this trial in your life. You've made it through the challenges and incorporated the life lessons that have been offered to you with grace and courage. So you're ready for a new start. Tower was also um, upright behind it. A significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. So you may have experienced something, maybe again in the past relationship. Um, that energy, that cycle coming to an end or having recently come to an end and you're ready to emotionally, spiritually, physically move on from it to joy and happiness and a new start. Next card is Major Arcana card, the Wheel of Fortune, although it is in reverse. Give these a little shuffle. First card I'm opening to is Karmic Relationship. Now, people see karmic relationship and they go, ugh, like the karmic. And that's really just like, I mean, it's come to be known as like a derogatory term um, among people like us uh, and twin flames and stuff like that. But really, all these things that are sort of destined and uh, are clandestine and like of the universe or of God, like meant to be, you know, and... Like, we couldn't have stopped each other from meeting if we wanted to. They're, they're, all of them are karmic relationships. Not just the ones that, you know, we're unhappy in. Or that aren't good for us. Or that are toxic. Even the good ones. Even the, not, a, not just the ones we feel like we're imprisoned in. Um, you know, even the positive ones are karmic relationships. I mean, in the true sense of the meaning of the word, you know, karmic. I'm not telling anybody they can't use it however they want. Trust and faith is our overall energy. The next card is in reverse. It's knighthood. Another Eight of Cups. Ace of Swords. New start after challenges. More than one ace in a reading, a spread, very auspicious. Can, you know, definitely be things new really awesome connections romantically a new home all kinds of good luck and abundance our overall energy here speaking of the energy of pisces is the hangman in reverse represents the planet neptune and the sign of pisces And overall energy here is another Major Arcana card 12, right? I said we have Major Arcana card 12 here in reverse, the Hangman. Overall energy with these cards too, the Angel and Animal Tarot's another 
Major Arcana card 12 or another Hangman. Look at things from a different perspective. You're at a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. Hangman about letting go of something. It can be emotion, you know, that you've been holding on to. Like I said, you're ready to move on from that, let go of it, and move on to a new start. Like a virgin. Touch for the very first time. Two of Cups immediately behind this... Um, Hangman, a relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, and the positive resolution of a conflict, followed by the sun, happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success if you have confidence in yourself, the page of cups, you could expect to kindle a new romantic relationship or a close platonic friendship, you may suddenly receive an emotional message from someone, or be invited to a social event, page of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or someone likened to those traits or attributes, if it's an actual person that's significant in your life. Major Arcana card death also showing up here. It's time to release the past and to move on to something new. This ending is the first step on the way to a better future. And what you're leaving behind you is this pain, hurt, separation, um, betrayal maybe. Sadness is part of life, but you don't have to endure it alone. You may need a little time to heal, but once you work your way through the emotions, you'll be stronger than ever before. The next card's in reverse. So this is all the progress, like from that pain, then death, let's like let that go, move on, transition to a new space. Then here's new happiness, a fresh start with something else, happy outcome, but the res is the result of that. Some sort of partnership um, or balanced energy. If it is a, a, an actual relationship, very um, equitable you know, very equal, very fair, very balanced, very mutual, reciprocity, you know, all of that genuine love. Hangman tells us, you know, to let go. Behind this hangman is the Knight of Cups. So potentially more Piscean energy or more Scorpio energy or that of Cancer or someone that's not a water sign at all, but just likened to those traits or attributes if it's an actual person, or this is the energy of taking action with regard to something that is emotional or about love and relationship. Maybe with a king of pentacles or somebody, if they're not a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, somebody who's particularly generous or um, professional, you know, um, a mature person, maybe specifically a mature, you know, gentleman has his shit together. And again, he's probably also very generous, works hard for his money, has a lot of nice things. You may need to think on it. Do I want to do this? Or maybe he's who with whom we had pain before. He's another three of swords, you know, hidden in this four of swords. So let me lay here and think on this. Do I want to, you know, reconvene? Well, maybe because then I can have that four of wands. Four of wands here, four of wands here. This four of wands is in reverse. It's on top of the three of cups. So with that note, we'll on that note, we'll start. You know, like start, start. Obviously, we've been talking about cards and what they mean the whole time. But we'll get a little more specific now. Getting with these. And the fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Your card this week for love is the five of pentacles in reverse. And now the earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Your card this week is the seven of cups in reverse. More Piscean energy, more Neptune, but also maybe having made a decision about something. Um, us air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, our card this week is the Four of Cups. Upright. And last but not least, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, your card is Temperance in reverse. None of them are particularly exciting for me <laughs> uh, in love, but all, you know, important. We've got important messages that um, each each element will receive. So the overall theme here is really going to be about one, it's really going to be one of letting go um, with this overall energy of the hangman in reverse. You need to let go of a particular, like, um, how Mariah Carey said, a vision of love, you know, something that you, like, pictured, and that could definitely be tied to Neptune being in, uh, maybe in retrograde, uh, the Piscean energy. It's about illusions, it's about dreams. So maybe that's from where this vision comes, but it's time to get rid of it, to chuck it. Um, maybe like a particular relationship or a particular kind of relationship or relationship with a certain person. And, you know, 
as being like the only way that you can be happy is if you're with this person and it goes this way, you, you do it that way. And, you know, obviously that's not realistic. Um, if you're already in a long-term relationship, then that too can be at a crossroads when this, when this card shows up is not as, you know, it's not me to like freak out. Like, Oh my God, my relationship's over. Um, but you may need to think of take, you know, take some time to think about any signs or like synchronicities and things you've been getting about the relationship. Don't ignore them. And you know, that may point to different things you want to address. So with all that in mind, Moving on to the fire signs again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, your card is the five of pentacles in reverse. And it's not necessarily like a, you know, particularly happy card. That's why I said, that, you know, the cards, none of them are all that exciting when it comes to love, but it can be about like having your eye on someone that you feel is not necessarily treating you um, the way they should, you know, so having an interest in someone that you feel is not giving you back, you know, like a similar energy. And it may be that you need to stop like fantasizing about this person. So it's really tied into a similar energy as um, the hangman in reverse. Like get rid of that vision that you have or accept the relationship as it is with them. You know what I mean? Um, if you're not going to get rid of them altogether, get rid of the, you know, the illusion of, of what you think you're in. Are you in a relationship or a situationship or a nothing, you know, and, and facing like what it actually is, even if you, in your heart, you wanted something different or in your mind, you wanted something different or your mind's eye, it showed you something different or you pictured something different. I mean, the, this card can be a card of like feeling left out in the cold. Yes. Um, but when it's in reverse, it's sort of like, coming out of that energy and, and knowing that you have stuff to look forward to. You know, so you really could be feeling right now that something that's been holding you back is like breaking free or you're breaking free of from whatever that thing was. Suddenly you might be feeling more open to love, more willing and able to take a chance at, you know, being vulnerable, um, you know, showing somebody yourself like really. So letting go of whatever was, you know, keeping you from doing that before. And when this happens, like almost magically, you may find yourself receiving more love, like all of a sudden from, you know, from all different types of love, from all different types of people all around you. So be open. If you're already committed, <coughs> a relationship could all, could suddenly get closer. So this is another possibility too. <clears throat> and more pleasing. You know, because you're ready for that. You're letting go of this sort of, you know, oh, woe is me, feeling left out in the cold. And you're acknowledging that better things are, you know, ahead for you. <clears throat> the only, I don't want to say plob problem really, but the only problem uh, this card can like point to is if you're in your relationship has been built on. You know, like it's us against the, you know, cold world to survive, then that's what, you know, something that you may need to let go of too. You know, that sort of attitude and to a more positive one. Moving on to the earth signs. What you could be letting go of is similarly whatever's been holding you back before and keeping your, you know, you guys are so grounded naturally. Um, you know, it could be scary to have like a bunch of options and choices and, you know, visions and dreams and goals and ideas and not feeling comfortable to settling on any one of them. But with the card in reverse, it shows that you are ready. Um, you've finally gotten like very clear about what or maybe who you want and need from from love, you know, and you're ready to take the steps to make it happen. And you should definitely follow your instincts, again, any signs, synchronicities, um, inclinations, gut feelings, butterflies, whatever's going on. There's nothing wrong with like making your feelings clear to somebody that you care about. In fact, there's like everything right about it. And 
as I said before, you may have had difficulty just being the kind of person that you are. This sort of like you got it all together type of person, not necessarily very emotional, um, just grounded and, you know, in reality and, and stuff like this. So to be in this sort of dream world, um, you know, have your head in the clouds, you, it really takes you out of your comfort zone. But now you're finally ready to, to be out of that comfort zone. So it's, it's this is pretty awesome for you. Um, you may be very pleasantly surprised with the reaction of the other person too. And, you know, it's better to take action sometimes than to spend your life just dreaming about what if, you know, especially if you're doing that simply for the sake of keeping your cool and remaining grounded, you know, that that's not very exciting, <laughs> right? You know, life is short. Let, let's live it. Uh, again, trust your instincts, your gut, all these things. If you think... And you have evidence that someone's mistreating you, however, you know, they're not treating you right, um, then they aren't. That's another message with this with this card. Um, also, I was talking about knowing somebody in the biblical sense. For me, the Seven of Cups can be a card of one night stands, <laughs> too. No judgment for me, um, if that's the case, if that's what happens. Four of Cups for us air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, we got to look, I know this is boring too, but we got to take like a hard look at ourselves um, as to whether we're being realistic with regard to love too. Uh, you know, it's like, do we have our heart set on one type of thing or one type of person or one particular person or one particular relationship to the exclusion of everything else? You know, like I only want this one, I don't care if I have a bunch of options and choices. I only want this one. And if this one is not being handed to me, then I'm not interested in anything. Like, are we doing that? Because if you're single and you want a relationship, that's not going to work. Um, if we're doing that and we have a particular person in mind, chances are that person isn't giving us very much back. Um, or, or and or, this person could be quite literally unavailable, whether that means they're in another relationship, whether that means they're in jail. I saw somebody being in jail earlier in the, um, in the general reading or they're otherwise, you know, like away from you, set you this separation, like they're literally unavailable because, you know, I don't know, they're involved in something else or they're, you know, for some reason they're taken away that there's, you're unable to, you know, connect. That's another possibility. Uh, in which case, again, why are you, you know, holding your breath, breath for this relationship and this person? Move on or let go. Or that's, and that doesn't mean you have to say like, you know, okay, we're never going to be together. Um, but if it's not happening now and it hasn't been happening and <laughs> again, there's other options and choices that have been trying to reveal themselves to you and you've really just blocked yourself off, then you're, you're keeping yourself stuck in a cycle. And um, again, we have a full moon tomorrow. Full moons are about endings. It's time to let that cycle end so that you can move on to a, you know, a new one, an ace of pentacles or an ace of swords, a fresh start. Um, moving on to temperance reverse for the water signs. So when this card shows up, I mean, they're all very similar in this sense. It's important to look at how you like and your relationships are in or or probably more so are not in balance. And it's a good time to consider like what others are bringing to your life and vice versa. Like what are you bringing to to others lives? What are you bringing to the table? You may feel that you're giving like everything. You're know, giving your all. I'm giving you 10,000%. I'm giving you, you know, all my energy and what have you given me nothing? And they may feel the same way. Seriously, that's what this card can mean. Um, you know, be aware that your partner may see things just the other way around totally. If you're, um, you know, if you're in a relationship and you're going to want to hear that and they, they're going to want to and need to hear from you too so you can get on the right, the same page and get in a place that is balanced. Energy of temperance is about healing, is about restoration, is about balance. So this is a good time for you to pour into each other's cups, right? Pour into each other and, um, you know, and fix it. You have the opportunity to do that. Temperance most directly um, represents the sign of Sagittarius, by the way. 
Um, if you are single and looking, you could really be trying like too hard when you're meeting people. What I don't and I don't know necessarily what that means, trying too hard, but just coming off the wrong way where you're like alienating yourself from people or alienating other people, pushing them away, you know, making them disinterested. You, you know, I, I don't know how to describe it, but I'm sure you guys know what I mean by trying too hard. And sometimes like when somebody's doing that and it could just be because they are really, they really want to impress you. They really like you or whatever. Um, but sometimes it's like when, once you're turned off, you're turned off and it's too late. So we want to be careful about that. Um, you know, like be secure in yourself as an individual first before you're trying to um, meet somebody so that you don't, you know, come off like that. You're confident, you're, you know, yet, yet humble, you know, so not like an asshole or whatever. And you're putting yourself out there <laughs> and you're meeting people and, you know, they want to meet you. Um this card also shows up to, to remind us that other people don't complete us. You know, it, it's nice to have a partner, companionship, a mate, you know, someone to, to share, an advisor, a teacher, and, and we can be the same for them. But we have to be like whole individuals in order to have whole grown up, you know, healthy relationships too. Just want to see if these other decks add anything else. We already got the first repeating energy with our overall energy, the hangman. But let's see what else comes. So joining this five of pentacles in reverse for the fire signs is now the ten of pentacles. A very happy family life, financial security, and finding magic in the little things in life. So this is just about, you know, being happy, being, you know, like not sort of wanting for anything or needing for anything necessarily. You're content in your life. So whether that's single you're content and somebody walks in, you'll be content to meet somebody and to start a relationship. If they don't, you'll be content to, you know, exist happily as a single until they do. If you're in a relationship, things are going well. So again, you're out of this sort of, um, oh, woe is me. And, you know, it's us against the world. The world hates us. We're negative and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And you're in a much better space with this 10 of pentacles having shown up. Very nice. Um, for the earth signs, joining your seven of cups in reverse is the two of pentacles. Too much going on at once. There's a need to make a decision. Seven of cups can definitely be about decisions too. Consider a more playful approach. So not taking things in life um, necessarily so seriously and, you know, but, um, you know, so I like actually getting involved. Life is for the living, you know. Um, all work and no play. It's Jack and the boy, Jill and the girl. You guys can, you know, are good for that sometimes. Earth signs, all work. I mean, you are the workers. Um, so in that sense, like, you know, it's not a negative thing, but anything in the extreme is not good, you know? So this is telling you to make sure you also are living. Air signs. Womp womp. <laughs> okay. Again, we got to take a good look at ourselves. Um, and what are we doing to advance or, you know, hinder ourselves? An unwise choice. Learn what you can from this situation. Review everyone's motives. The Five of Swords. So an unwise choice, again, to um, maybe focus only on one thing or to not look at ourselves and not be realistic, to pretend that a situation exists where it doesn't, all that kind of stuff would be an unwise choice this week, particularly this week, right? Um and we should let go of that. For the water signs, wow, you got the water energy. Major Arcana card 18, Pisces. I mean, Pisces, the moon, which represents the sign of Pisces in the tarot. Or, um, you know, the actual moon, Earth's moon, which rules the sign of Cancer. So that's still water energy. Important psychic insights. Events behind the scenes. Release fears that hold you back. So you, there could be a fear of, I don't want to give too much. I don't want to do too much for this person because what if they take advantage of me? You ever have that happen? Sometimes we're afraid to put ourselves out there to open ourselves up. What if I get hurt if I do that? What if they use me? Um, so 
You, that's the kind of thing you need to let go of if that's what you're dealing with. Okay, past life cards. Joining um, the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. For the fire signs, we have Greco-Roman. And Greco-Roman, the way the author intended it, means that in your past or, or past life, especially or a past life, um, you know, Greece or and or Rome or these cultures and traditions were particularly important to you. I'm also getting something about like authority, and I, I think it's from the columns. Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Reverse. Maybe this is you, again, letting go of that energy of feeling like, you know, again, it's you and, and or your partner against the world and the man is coming down on you, like the authority, whatever, and you're, and you're you know, just getting into a better place where you know if, that if you're positive and you approach life from a positive perspective, that so much more lies ahead for you. And it's, it looks like that in the sky here, too. It's like here, like the heavens are opening up and the light is shining through. Um, here was all here is all dark here is all dark but if you um you know open if you focus on positive this is how you open up and this is how things open up for you but greco-roman um you know again in the traditional sense that could have some significance to you too maybe um connected to a person who's significant their culture or your culture um and or a past life. So it could you know, definitely be something that you want to look into, do a little bit more research about, especially if you found yourself particularly drawn to, you know, these cultures or maybe, you know, the mythology of, of Greece or the mythology of Rome or the history of either. You feel yourself drawn to that. You um, and you're watching this may want to do a little bit more, you know, looking and reading about these things, these subjects. Moving on to the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Your card is orphan. And maybe that's why you work so hard. Maybe that's why you, um, you know, or, or sort of afraid to maybe depend on somebody else or open yourself up too much and, let, you know, let go of any of your independence and your um, your ability to, you know, your, your self your, your self-sufficiency, um, you're afraid to like, you know, let in somebody else in maybe, uh, wholly or enough to be like an equal partner. Um, because there is some sort of fear of like, I have to be able to take care of myself that may come from, you know, your past in this lifetime and, or a past life where it's possibly you were even an orphan, you know, so you were abandoned in that sense. And to like, well, I'm not going to let that happen again where I can't fend for myself. But again, this other card that we started with, the Seven of Cups, is about you finally realizing that you can sort of like have both. I can let somebody in my life. I can have love and, you know, I can still be me and, you know, ha and, and be self-sufficient. But they, I can also leave room for someone else to, to you know, help me, support me. And all of that. For the air signs, joining the five of swords and um, the four of cups, we have leaving or travel. And again, I think it's very much about leaving behind or letting go of just fake <laughs> situations, illusions, you know, of grandeur and things like that. Um, these visions of, of things that aren't real and get more into um, reality. Again, what am I doing or not doing to have a successful, you know, love life or relationship if that's what I want? And let me stop, you know, um, pretending it's something. You know, like on Facebook, for example, or social media in general, people may have like one life and the real life is different. You know, it's the fake life that they appear to be living. That That's what I've been getting with this um, section here. Unfortunately for me, because I'm an air sign myself, <laughs> you know. Um, 
Moving on, last but not least, to the water signs and boom, it's Atlantis. So it's more water. Um, Pisces actually rules water. Something that you, some of you guys may let go came up for me um, in the general reading because Pisces rules not just water, but, um, or Neptune rather, you know, like liquid in general, including like soda, maybe you shouldn't be drinking. I mean, I'm not judging. I'm just saying, just throwing it out there um, as an example or alcohol, liquor. Um, again, not judging. I, you know, I drink too. Um, on a case, I'm not an addict though. So somebody may be having difficulty, an addiction. This um, could really be your time when you're moved to let go of that and to, um, to kick the addiction. Actually, I brought up addiction the first time last week and, you know, one of um, the viewers commented, I, I meant to respond, I didn't get a chance yet, um, but I, I did see that one of the viewers commented that their um, mate or love interest or somebody who's interested in them was going into rehab, you know, um, I'm feeling that strongly for people. Obviously not for everybody. Not everybody needs to go into rehab or to kick any type of habit. But um, something coming to an end in this period um, for some people specifically involving liquid. And maybe an addiction. There's some actual drugs and stuff that are liquid too. Injected or things like that. And that may also be what you're kicking. Another thing could be, you know, maybe more so what the author intended for the card to mean, similar to what I said with the um, Greco-Roman. This card is about, you know, Atlantis, like your soul having memories of this civilization. And, you know, it sort of having left an impression upon your soul and your soul maybe even remembering like the tragic end of Atlantis and, and what happened to it. And so that could have caused you to develop some sort of phobia. That may be what you're facing or dealing with during this period too. And it could be a phobia having something to do with water. So maybe somebody learns to swim, somebody takes swimming classes or, you know, they go diving or they go to an island, they go on a cruise, they, you know, there's some sort of facing of um, things involving water and maybe specifically the sea, like sailing or something like that. I'm seeing. And um, like the traditional meaning in terms of like the what the um, author intended also gets into like people being particularly sensitive and water signs very are, um, are, are, you know, pretty naturally sensitive and in tune with things. Um, the author, you know, tells us that that's how Atlanta or reminds us that that's how Atlanteans were for the most part, very, you know, sensitive and in tune and like connected with nature. And it was sort of like, um, the people who were put in charge, the authorities who, you know, got full of themselves that ended up being punished by the gods or by one god, whatever it was, and the place ended up being destroyed. But it was like a few, um, like, bad apples spoiled the bunch. But for the for the most part, we're talking about a sensitive people. So it this also, this card is also about you, um, like, remaining or, you know, or getting in touch with that um, remaining empathic or, you know, allowing yourself to be that sensitive person, even if you're male and masculine, like not worrying about um, being open and maybe even crying, right? That would be more liquid, more water. And Aquarius could also be particularly significant um, or the energy of Aquarius. And... Um, Something else I was getting. Because you got all this water. You got Atlantis. You got the moon, which represents the energy of water. And you got temperance. Temperance for me, this is another card that's, I would say, getting the Aquarius from here. But temperance is another card for me that, although in the tarot, 
traditional tarot, it most directly represents the sign of Sagittarius. For me, it also represents the sign of Aquarius because it's a water bearer on the front, right? This, we have this angel that's pouring water between two vessels. So um, all of these cards are really speaking of healing and um, like a washing away of... It's a very cleansing thing, a washing away of, you know, like what's not needed, what's holding back. So it, definitely any fears that are preventing you from progressing in, you know, your love life uh, and or a particular relationship in the way that you want to, just chuck them. <laughs> That's what's going to be happening. And I think the full moon um, is going to help you, that full moon in Pisces specifically in Pisces, which is what the moon card represents, um, the sign of Pisces in general. That's really going to help you because, um, again, the things that Pisces and, and Neptune and rules, unconditional love and um, like our depths, the themes right now are, are you know, definitely love and money. And um, so endings of issues having to do with any of those things. Hope you guys have enjoyed the weekly love reading. I'll be back with the moon reading. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate it. Namaste.